name's Liz, I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So I love talking about all things to do with fabric and patterns and sewing. So quite often I'll share things that I've been inspired by or things that I've been making, um, patterns that I've tried and just my journey around learning to sew. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, then please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified of when I bring out my next video. I always bring out a video on a Sunday, and that's my Sunday sewing catch up, a roundup of what I've been getting up to sewing wise that week. And then I also try and bring out a video on a Wednesday evening. And that's what today's video is going to be. It's going to be one of my Wednesday evening videos. So I have got a stack of fabrics um, that I wanted to talk to you about. This is just a portion of the fabrics. I've got a few more uh, just on the side there to talk to you about. So I've got a bumper edition of fabrics that I've been buying. Before I get started with the fabrics today, I thought I'd let you know what I'm wearing. I am wearing the Friday Pattern Company Davenport dress. It's got this gorgeous sort of frill detail on the shoulders. It's a little bit crumpled because it's just been hanging up in my wardrobe and we're not going anywhere today. It's got this elasticated neck here, which creates these gorgeous gathers. And then it's got a tie across the tummy here, gorgeous pockets, and then the skirt is really crumpled, so I apologise now, um, but it's all gathered anyway. And then you've got a ruffle on the bottom. I love how swishy this dress is. Um, I absolutely love it. I haven't worn it for ages because it's been too cold, but actually we've got some sunshine today. Although it's still a little bit chilly outside, I thought I'd pop this on because we're not going anywhere. So that is what I'm wearing. With everything that I talk about today, where possible, I'll link it down below. So I have got a bumper stack of fabrics to talk to you about today. Some of them I've got firm plans for and some of them I haven't got plans, but I am definitely thinking about spring, summer, lots of bright florals to share with you today. So I'll get started with a piece of fabric that I bought from a company called Stitch and Ink. I'll link them down below and they share this beautiful dead stock fabric and I absolutely loved it. So I bought three meters of this. It's a jersey fabric, but I'm really loving pink and red still. I think it's a gorgeous colourway. They go really nicely together. It's quite a lightweight jersey. So if I hold it up, you'll be able to see. Beautiful amount of drape to it. Um, it's got, yeah, it's got a lovely amount of bounce and drape and this is going to be turned into some kind of dress. I'm not decided on the pattern yet and I'll probably have enough left over to turn some, some of this into something for either Ruby or Lola or both of them because I bought three meters of it. I love the drape of that fabric. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I really love the large scale print of those hearts. I think it's a really fun, um, just really fun fabric and a really fun print. Um, if anyone's got any jersey pattern suggestions, please let me know down below, but it's going to become some kind of jersey dress. I feel like it needs to be maybe the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress. It's one of my favorite jersey dress patterns. Uh, with that gorgeous ruffle on the bottom. I think this would work really nicely for that style of dress. Um, so I've got three meters, it's super wide. So I've got a lot of fabric to play around with. Maybe some cozy pajamas as well, if I've got enough of the fabric left. Um, if they've got any of this left, I'll link it down below for you. But that's the first fabric that I wanted to share with you today. And then I've got a stack of fabrics here, as you can see, um, from a company that I shared. Did I share them last month? I can't remember. It's quite a recent fabric company to me. I discovered them over on Instagram and they've got some gorgeous fabrics. So I did buy quite a few fabrics from them. Quite a few poplins, a chambray, and then a sweatshirting fabric, which I'm going to talk about. Um, and it's from a company called Fleur et, et Ors. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I'll put in an image of, of what their name of the shop is so you can go and check them out if you haven't. So the first one I wanted to talk about is this soft fern sweatshirting grid print fabric in this gorgeous green. Green's one of my favorite colors. If you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I absolutely love the color green, but this isn't going to become something for me. Um, I've got a couple of friends. One has just had a baby, she had a little girl. So I'm gonna use this fabric to make a little jumper and leggings um, set for her. And then I've got another friend who is due to have a little boy very soon. So I'm gonna wait for her to have the baby and then I'm going to sew up um, a little sort of sweatshirt and trousers for her little boy as well. So I've got two meters of this. So it should be enough to sew up the jumper and the leggings. I'm gonna use the Poppy and Jazz strawberry sweatshirt pattern and then the Poppy and Jazz tangerine trousers. 
Um, and then if I've got any left over, I might be able to make a little dress for my friend's little one as well. So I can send a couple of gifts. Um, this is so lovely and soft. Um, and it's got a really lovely fleece back feel um, on the inside. So I think it'll be a really lovely, cosy make for babies to wear. So I'm looking forward to getting those cut out and sewn up. Um, and yeah, that fabric's just beautiful. If there is any left, and then I might be able to squeeze out a little t-shirt for myself. But I bought this with gifts in mind. So that's what I'm going to be using that fabric for. I've got two meters, so I've definitely got plenty there to be making baby clothes and possibly a little something for myself as well. And then I also got this really fun, um, it's a cotton poplin and it's described as a lollipop. I thought the print was really fun. I love how bright it is. Um, it's like a neon yellow and it's got all these heart shaped lollipops all over it. This is going to become a dress. I think the pattern that I'm going to use quite a lightweight cotton poplin but I think I'm going to use the Deer and Joe Myosotis dress pattern um, I think this would make a really fun summer dress um, and the cotton poplin is quite a lightweight fabric for the summer when it's warm as well I love the Deer and Joe Myosotis pattern this is a really busy print so I think it'd work really nicely for that pattern and I've sewn up quite a few of those dresses using a cotton poplin um, so that's what this fabric is going to be turned into I just love everything about this fabric i love the color i love the lollipops against that bright background as well and i just think with pink buttons going down the bodies i think that would make a really cute summer dress um and i got two meters of that i've got two meters of all of, oh no i was going to say i got two meters of all but the next fabric i'm going to share i've got a meter and a half so the next fabric that i wanted to share with you is this really cute sean bray, sean bray fabric and it's got strawberries all over it um, I shared in one of my Sunday sewing catch up videos that the So Fruit Salad Challenge, I think that's what it was called, or So Fruity Challenge, I can't remember what it was. I'll put a card in now that says what it is. I'll put an image in now that um, shows what the challenge is called that I'm talking about. But I took part last year and I really enjoyed it. So I bought this with that challenge in mind, but it's a Sean Bray fabric, it's got strawberries all over it, and this is going to become the Little Pomegranate Sabina skirt. I think it'd work really nicely. It's a chambray, so it's quite lightweight. I haven't pre-washed these fabrics yet, but I will be putting them in the wash to pre-wash. And I think that would just make a really lovely, cute little skirt to pair with a plain t-shirt. Um, and I love the strawberries all over it. And a chambray, it's quite a lightweight fabric, so it'd be perfect for the warmer weather as well. And I love the Sabina skirt. It's a really lovely elasticated um, skirt pattern that's got gorgeous deep pockets and you've got ruffle on the bottom. It's just a really lovely skirt. I've made, I think, four of them so far. It's a free pattern by the Little Pomegranate. You just have to sign up to their newsletter, but I'll put a link down below if you haven't seen it. I talked about it in my So Frugal 22 um, sort of video. And then the next fabric I wanted to share with you is described as a vibrant floral poplin, and it really is vibrant absolutely gorgeous i love everything about this fabric i love the colors i love the pattern and um, i got two meters of this um i'm not quite sure what i'm going to turn it into yet but i was thinking the anna allen anthea blouse but i would turn it into the dress version i think this would work really nicely for that pattern and i think it would make a really really cute and really fun um shirt dress um, I'm not 100% decided on that, but it, it's a really busy print and I think that pattern would really showcase that gorgeous pattern and all these beautiful bright colours. Um, other patterns, maybe the, I haven't got enough to do the Lyra, Tilly and the Buttons, because I've only got two metres and it's quite a narrow fabric. Um, but I could turn it into the, I haven't sewn this up yet, but the I Am Patterns Irma shirt, it might work really nicely for that. If anyone's got any suggestions for this gorgeous cotton poplin, please do let me know. I absolutely love the print and the, just the vibrancy of that fabric is what drew me to it. I'm really pleased with that fabric. Um, it's quite lightweight because it's a poplin, not a huge amount of drape. I mean, this would work really nicely for the Deer and Deer My Sotus as well, actually. Yeah, there's not a huge amount of drape, but um, I think a shirt of some sort or a shirt dress. So do let me know if you've got suggestions for that fabric. And then the next one, this is the final fabric from this um, fabric shop. Um, it's gorgeous pastel striped fabric and it was described as Habitat Stripes Quilting Cotton. Um, my daughter Lola chose this and she wants me to turn it into some kind of dress for her. So I'm on the hunt for a dress pattern 
Um, she's 11, she'll be 12 in July. Um, so I'm looking for a pattern for this quilting cotton for my daughter for some kind of dress. She wants gathered skirts with some kind of fitted bodice. So I need to have a little look in my fabric, in my, so I need to have a little look in my pattern stash behind me to see if I've got a pattern. Otherwise, I'll see if there's a free pattern that I can use. Um, but I love this fabric. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colours. Um, but this isn't going to be for me. This is going to be for Lola. So that was all the fabrics that I've got from that shop. And then I've got a really fun fabric to talk to you about. They're both fun fabrics, actually, from Fabric Godmother. I've saved my favourite one till the end. But the first one is this gorgeous, what did they describe it as? Glacé Cherries Stretch Cotton Sateen. It's a baby pink uh, background and then it's got all these cherries all over it. And I absolutely love it. Um, when I do baking for markets, I use this type of cherry on cupcakes but I also use it in cherry scones too. I thought it was a really fun fabric. It's a stretch cotton sateen and I got two and a half meters of this. Now I've shared this in my Sunday sewing catch up video already so um, apologies if you've watched that and seen this fabric already and you'll know what my first thoughts were with this fabric. I initially thought a pair of Helen's Closet Yanta overalls. I thought it would make a really fun pair of Yanta overalls. Um, but now I'm not too sure. There's a little bit of stretch, not a huge amount of stretch, but there is a little bit of stretch. I've had suggestions for dresses. Um, so if you've got any pattern suggestions for this fabric, please do let me know in the comments below because I'm really undecided now. Um, I think it would work really nicely as a pair of overalls. I have got quite a few pairs of Yanta overalls now, so I'm thinking maybe I should use it for something else instead. That is the amount of stretch that it's got in there. I just loved that print. I thought it was really fun. And that baby pink, I haven't got a huge amount of baby pink in my wardrobe. Um, I think that would be a really lovely, again, spring, summer um, garment for my wardrobe. So please let me know your thoughts on what to turn that into. And then the next fabric that I've got from Fabric Godmother is probably, I think, my favourite fabric that I've got to share with you today. As soon as I saw it, um, Josie shared it in their stories, and as soon as I saw it, I had to have some. Um, it is described as Big Cat's Quilted, yep, quilted fabric again, still got a love for quilted fabric, puffer fabric. When you see it, you'll know exactly why I fell in love with it. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, I love it. It's a black fabric, and it's got these big cats all over it. Now, if you followed me for a while, you'll know that my class, I've got um, class teddies. I used to be called tiger class, so I love anything to do with tigers. My youngest daughter absolutely loves tigers too. Um, and I've just finished making my rainbow quilted puffer jacket, bomber jacket that I've been talking about for months and months and months. I'll put a picture in now of what it looks like. And this is going to become another bomber jacket. Now that I've made the first one and I've found a pattern that is exactly what I was imagining in my head, this is going to become um, a bomber jacket and I'm really excited about it. I've got black cuffing for the collar and the hem band and the cuffs. And then I've got, I can't decide whether to use a black zip or a white zip. Um, I think probably black because most of it is going to be black. Uh, with the hem and the cuffs and the collar and then most of the fabric is black apart from those um, big cats all over it. I just thought it was really really fun um, and just something a little bit different as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to having another bomber jacket in my wardrobe and then I think my youngest who loves tigers as well will probably end up borrowing this bomber jacket from time to time. How fun is that fabric? This sold out really quickly so I don't think I'll be able to link the same fabric but Fabric Godmother have got lots of quilted fabrics on their website, so I'll link those down below for you. I just absolutely love that fabric. And then it's just black on the inside. I think it's gonna be really snuggly and warm and cozy as well. And just a really fun jacket to wear. So that was all of my fabrics from Fabric Godmother. So the next selection of fabrics I've got to share with you are from Abercorn Fabrics. And um, they sent me a voucher for 25 pounds to choose some fabrics from their new spring collection that they've just released. Um, I couldn't choose just a couple of pieces, so I ended up buying some of their fabrics with my own money as well. But I will mark it as an ad down below because I do work with Abercorn as part of their ambassador um, programme. 
and um, from time to time they send me a voucher so I can buy fabric and then I make things using that fabric and share them over on Instagram and give them photos of the things that I've made. So a couple of these were bought using the voucher but a couple of them I bought myself. I've got four fabrics to show you and they are all floral themed and they're all absolutely gorgeous. I'll link their spring collection down below and where possible these fabrics as well. Last time I checked they still had them in stock. So the first fabric is a woodland cotton lawn in a green colourway. They've got so many gorgeous like floral fabrics on their website at the moment and this one is just absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of like a meadow. I think it's beautiful. It's a white background but it's got an awful lot of green all over it which is why I was drawn to it because I love the colour green. And then it's got these, I'm um, holding it upside down, um, and then it's got these gorgeous pops of colour with the flowers, absolutely beautiful. This is gonna become a blouse of some sort. It's a cotton lawn, so it is a really lightweight fabric. It's really lovely and soft um, to sort of stroke, and it feels really beautiful when you open it out. It's quite a lightweight fabric, it's quite floaty. And you see how it just floats, absolutely beautiful. So it's going to become some kind of blouse with a big poofy sleeve, probably the Anna Allen Anthea blouse um, because that's one of my favourite blouse patterns. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it and I think that's going to go so nicely with a lot of things that I've got in my wardrobe. And then the next two fabrics are the same, well they're all from the spring collection but these two are described as blossom cotton poplin and then I've got one, it says yellow but it's actually orange. Um, how beautiful is that? Orange is not a colour that I've got a lot of in my wardrobe but I just thought that was such a stunning print. I love all of those colours. There's orange and peach and green. I just think it's beautiful. And then some pink flowers as well. This is a cotton poplin, so it's not quite as lightweight as a lawn, um, but it is still quite lightweight. If I hold it up. And it's quite a wide fabric as well. It's got a little bit of drape to it and it's a little bit floaty. Um, I've no idea what I'm gonna turn this into, but I feel like it needs to become some kind of summer dress. Those colours are just absolutely glorious and I'm really excited about turning this into some kind of dress. Let me know below if you've got any thoughts on what that could become. Beautiful. And then I bought, I loved that pattern so much that I bought it in the pink colourway as well, which is just as bright and colourful. Um, and it's got sort of purples and lilacs and pinks and greens all over it. I just love the different colours. I think it's absolutely beautiful and it's a cotton poplin again so it is quite a lightweight fabric if i hold it up you'll be able to see it's absolutely beautiful i just love everything about both of those fabrics i think they're just beautiful colors really lovely and bright and definitely spring summer um so both of them are going to become dresses of some sort i'm just not decided on which pattern to go for yet and then the final one was described as a Trixie Bell poplin in silver. So it's like a grey background. It's really cute. It's got butterflies all over it and flowers and leaves. And it is on like a grey slash silver background. And again, I just loved the brightness of all of those colours. I love that green and then the flowers and then just the subtlety of the butterflies. There's a butterfly there. You have to look really carefully to find the butterflies. Um, I've no idea what I'm going to turn this one into. It's a poplin as well, so it's quite lightweight. Um, possibly some kind of shirt or dress. Um, I love how that looks from a distance. It's just like a meadow of wild flowers. It's absolutely beautiful. So again, if you've got any suggestions on what this would work for, please do let me know in the comments below. But I've got lots of lovely bright floral fabrics this time round. Um, I'm imagining lots and lots of lovely summer blouses and summer dresses. So I'm really excited about getting some of these fabrics turned into garments for the summertime. Let me know in the comments below which fabric was your favourite. And if you've got any suggestions for any of the fabrics, please do let me know. I do love hearing what your ideas and thoughts are on all of the fabrics. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, it'd be great if you could hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified of when I bring out my next video. Thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon. Bye.